my first guest, our first guest, has grown from growing up in Macomb, Mississippi, Lord bless, <laughs> to earning critical acclaim as an actress, telling gripping, groundbreaking stories on the big and small screens around the world. She is, full disclosure, one of my favorite guests. She had Academy Award nominations are coming out January 23rd. Buzz is all around. Anjanu Ellis Taylor! <laughs> Indeed, the queen! Reviewer called an instant American classic. The movie is origin. If you have not seen it, you just need to turn off the TV and go watch. Go, go to the movies right now. The origin is directed by the great Ava DuVernay, and it is about the life of Isabel Wilkerson, the Pulitzer Prize winning author of Cast, The Origins of Our Discontents, and her complicated journey as a journalist discovering the roots of America's racial divisions and putting for the first time a spotlight on the unspoken system that casts from birth who we can be in life because of the color of our skin. In the movie, we see Isabel Wilkerson, played by Anjadu, struggling to make sense of the murder of Trayvon Martin in February of 2012. Here's a look. There's a lot there, but longer form stuff, questions that I don't have the answer to. So ask them in a piece. I don't write questions. I write answers. Questions like what? Like, why does a Latino man deputize himself to stalk a black boy to protect an all-white community? What is that? The racist bias I want you to explore, excavate for the readers. We call everything racism. What does it even mean anymore? It's the default. Mm. Please welcome back to the Tampa two-time Emmy-nominated actress, 2022 Academy Award nominee for Best Supporting Actress in King Richard, the great, the amazing, the wonderful, the real, the 2023 Gotham Award winner, Anjanu Ellis Taylor! I'm doing better because I see your face. Oh, my gosh. How you doing? Welcome back. Hello. Yo, you have a seat. I wanted you to stand a long time so I could just look at this outfit. <laughs> oh. oh. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> It has origin written on the back. It has origin. <laughs> I, I, you, let me tell you something. I know you believe in every role you take, but when I saw a video of you passing out flyers, telling people to go see the movie, I think Ava posted it. There you are, outside on a windy, cold day. Like, you know, when the people used to sell the cassettes? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my drop tape, right, my mixtape. Right, right. You mix were out right. there because, as you said in the Instagram post, you said... Miss Wilkerson wrote a book about how we continue to divide ourselves and treat each other horribly based on these ridiculous, absurd means. Yeah. And you went on to talk about the book. You, this is not a role. This is life. Yeah. Like, yes. This is That's life. Right. It is. It is. It is. You know, when, uh, when you were saying that, I, I, I said, no, this is my mission. Oh. It's my mission. Um, it's... Uh, a, Isabel Wilkerson wrote a book yeah. that when it came out in 2020, it stunned us because it, it was giving us a new language to use and how we talk about the divisions yeah. that we, you know, put on ourselves that are rooted in things that are just an absurd construct, one of those being race. Yeah. And that race is a random thing, uh, and it's a fraud, yeah. right? And so she just disrupted all of that uh, with this book cast and Ava DuVernay being the visionary director yes, that she, she is. is. Yes, she is. Um, said, I want to write a book about that. Mm -hmm. And she did, she adapted that book and really made the book about, yes, the, the themes in the book cast, but yeah. also what Miss Wilkerson's life was right. while she was leading up to her writing the book. So much of your lives are parallel in the sense of part of, of her story is losing her mother. Yes. When we first saw you on a big red carpet, you had your mom's name, her, your mom's nickname yeah. placed on the dress that you wore. You, you've said there it is, Jack's baby. That's your mom's nickname. And you talk about that. Your mother was the, the love of your life and you lost her. Yeah. Isabella went through that same great unimaginable loss. Yes, she did. And, and 
what happened leading up to her writing the book, actually my mom's name is Jack, Jack, Jack. so I'm Jack's baby. Baby, oh, Jack, baby, okay. <laughs> um, leading up to her writing yeah. the book, she lost her mother, she lost her partner, she lost her best friend and cousin, and I think a, in a span of yeah. 16 months, and then she wrote this book, mm. you know? It's incredible. You told, I think it was Entertainment Weekly, you talked about navigating these emotions. I know mm. you are a brilliant actress, but when you are watching this moment where this character, who's a real person, mm -hmm. is dealing with that loss, I have the quote, you said, in moments where I felt that I would personally be aggressive, she was fearful. In moments that I felt demanded boldness, she would be withheld. In moments where I wanted to yell, she chose silence. Yes. And so you are studying the arc of her life that is our life. Yes. That is our life. Yes. We always say, I would have done this. Right. Or if I was in that position, I would have said this. Right. And as an mm -hmm. actor, you're taking what she did and revealing it to us, the meaning behind it. Yes, yeah, I, you know, and I, that's character work. Yeah. You know, and it's kind of character work that I've never, I haven't done before. I'm used to, you know, looking at how someone walks, how yeah. their accent and all these, physical things that I could put my, you know, hooks into. Yeah. I couldn't do that with her because she's so nuanced mm. and so held. And I had to lean into something that I didn't necessarily understand well, think, to I honor think, her. Mm, I you think know? that's interesting because the last time you were on, you mm. were on the cover of Essence magazine. <laughs> okay. got emotional, we got emotional because you mm -hmm. said, I felt seen. You've been doing mm -hmm. this for a long time yeah. and the world is waking up to the greatness, but also that you don't fit in this cookie cutter form. And I'm not talking about body size, I'm talking about mm -hmm. personality. I'd say you're one of my favorite guests because you come to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. You are real. And that's not always a construct that we see. Mm -hmm. You make that, how about she makes that possible? Oh my gosh. Yeah. She yeah. makes that possible. Yeah. You do, yeah. you do, you do. Thinking about life's twists and turns, I mm -hmm. love that. So when you were on, I met you with Will Smith. You were promoting King Richard. Yes. We were at some little theater in the back, sure like hugging each other out. And then all of the things that happened that night at the Oscars. But I love that you have kept a sense of humor about it. There's a meme that says, surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I heard, that meme. <laughs> it's this meme. I heard that in life's twists and turns, you've just learned to laugh about it. It's like, you never know what's gonna happen, including at the Oscars. No, you never yeah. know. You never know. Yeah. You never know. When I was getting my hair and makeup did that morning, I didn't notice how much <laughs> I was going in. And, I have to, and you were the first person I thought about after, because that's how we met. But I love, again, with life's twists and turns, you go with the flow. And I think it's in part, and maybe I'm presuming too much here, you still live in Mississippi. That keeps you grounded, in a way. Yeah, oh God, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I... I... <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to say this about this. I... That happened that night, and things happened, yeah. of course. Um, but what I will say is the man I knew in that film was someone who was a protector yeah. and caregiver for myself and the young women who played the Williams sisters. And I will always respect him for that and be grateful to him for that. And so. I watched it in real time with you. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. When we come back, more with the incomparable Anjanou Ellis. And we'll talk about why she's added Taylor to her name. It's a beautiful story you don't want to miss. Forty-six years. That's thirteen generations of people, plus another hundred years of Jim Crow, segregation, violence, and and murder. It is, of course, horrific. I am not downplaying any of it. There were so many millions of African Americans who were murdered from the Middle Passage until the end of legal segregation. That it goes beyond the realm of an official number. Welcome back. That was our guest, award-winning actress, Anjanou Ellis Taylor, in the brilliant movie, Origin. It is, you know, this is one of those movies you leave and you will talk about it at work. You will call, they don't have the water cooler anymore. You're gonna mm -hmm. log in and it, it evokes a conversation. You don't leave the theater and say, I'm done. 
it sticks with you. Yes. And your yes. performance is the reason why, in addition to the content of the film. Yes, I had great material, yeah. right? I had really great material, really great director. <clears throat> and I think the importance of this book is that we have become lazy in how we talk about how we oppress each other, how we divide each other. And this, what Isabel Wilkerson does, it says, okay, we need a new language for this. Yeah. Because this ain't working. Right. The way we've been talking yes. about race is doing nothing but destroying yes. us. We need yes. a new beat, if you will, yes. to yes. it. Yes, yes, um, I saw you at an event, I think it was Monday night, a big party, folks celebrating you. Sam Jackson was there, uh, Danielle Brooks, of yes. course, and a lot of heavy hitters in the room celebrating you. I think we have a little of that video. Coleman Domingo was there. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like, again, because go, we have a clip, let's play it. She stepped into that space and carried the weight of all that graciously, artistically, and the way we always do. Uh, I do want to say to Anjou Ellis Taylor that you are a singular yes. um, force, yes. force of nature, and that uh, our collaboration is one that has marked me far beyond uh, uh, the realm of being a filmmaker, but as a person. And I want to uh, sincerely express my gratitude to you in front of all these brothers and sisters for the way that you've changed my life. I know. Um, since we last were together, you added Taylor to your name mm -hmm. as an honor of your mom. Yes. Yes. So people think I got married. I did not get married. <laughs> You were like, oh, girl, congratulations. I like you. Why are you inviting me to the wedding? I was like, I, I, I did think not I have was one. one of those people who thought that. I was like, oh, she knew got married and didn't invite me. She didn't tell, didn't me. She tell was nobody. Didn't tell nobody. <laughs> no, so earlier this year, and on the anniversary of her leaving, mm. I just, I've always, by doing this thing, I've always wanted to bring her with me in these moments, and everything else felt insufficient. You know, my daddy, who I don't know, gets all the credit with my last name, and I said, you know what? This is how I can bring her with me everywhere I go. Oh. You are, of course, a brilliant actress, but as I said, just an amazing soul. So to watch this moment, I mean, this is two years in a row. Everybody is talking about you. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's earned and deserved. That's a twist and turn for you from Macon, Mississippi. Thank Come you so on. much. Thank I, you. Thank Nicole, you. Mississippi. The whole Mississippi <laughs> mad at me now. I love you so, so much. Thank you for your time. Thank we really you. appreciate it. Give you. it up, Ingenue Ellis. <laughs>